The Arizona fans come to life. And a good take by Chagne. Cypress, Texas native. Takes low and away to even the count. Big pitch here. And Chanier's done a good job of going 0-2 and then getting back right back to the 2-2 and working himself back into that bat. Elko at third, Graham at second, Alderman at first. The 2-2 pitch is fouled off. Staying alive, staying alive. That's the name of the game. So the Bee Gees that had that hit in the late 70s? Yeah, it wasn't. Chatnier, 333 with the bases juiced. And a good battle ensuing against Long. Another interesting point right here is, you know, the runner at second base, there's two strikes, two outs, so he's going to get his best jump right here. So a base hit's almost going to guarantee he's scoring two runs. Ripped down the left field line. Fair ball. Two runs are in. Elko, Graham right behind him. Here comes the third. Alderman on his horse. A bases clearing, two out, three run double for Chatnier. Rebels grab their first lead. And Chatnier comes up big again for them. Tied up the game earlier with a two run homer. And when the bases clearing double right there to put his team up three runs. So five RBIs in a day, not a bad day for Chatnier. And we'll take a look at this as he just drives this inside fastball down the left field nine. For a big clutch knock. And Davis had a little bit of trouble there, um, you know, with the grass and, and with the elements of the game, which kind of allowed that third run to score. But Ole Miss got the momentum back. Chatnier was down 0-2 in the count in about two and a half seconds. What an A-B. What a piece of hitting, lacing that one down the left field line. And he's knocked in the last five Ole Miss runs. Going back to that BG tribute, you know, he's kept Ole Miss alive. Staying alive, <laughs> staying alive, staying alive. <laughs> 